keeping this. Event Wish, Born of Ocean Swell. Rate up for Eula, the character that has been... I think it's been like 14 months since she's had a rerun. She has the longest stint of not being on a banner over everyone. So people who've wanted her for a long time, now is your time. Unfortunately, she's not amazing, but hey, at least there's Mika on her banner. So we've got Mika and Toma and Razor between the Klee and Eula banners. Well, these aren't pretty good. They're pretty mid, to be honest. I've already made a video talking about Eula and Klee. A lot of their problems are based on their internal mechanics and how they function. So unless they get a rework, they're just like not the greatest characters and they're either outclassed by, in Klee's case, other pyro characters, or in Eula's case, it's just physical is not really in a good spot. And Hoyo's solution to making Eula or physical better was just like make a character that does a lot of physical damage, which is exactly what Eula does. So their solution was this isn't working. Let's just do more of it. And we've got Mika as an attack speed booster. He's pretty fun, and he's also a healer. He's a pretty fun character, kind of an interesting support, but if you're gonna get him for, like, Eula and get him C6, like, ugh, don't do that. That's a huge waste. Toma. Toma's a pretty good shielder, good for Burgeon. Razor's a pretty decent, like, physical carry early game, but also physical. So he can drop off pretty fast, especially in the end game. Unless you've got C6 Bennett with Razor, and you want to run some ridiculous, like, Burgeon team. Which, actually, now that I think about it, I could probably try in my other account. And maybe that would be really good against the other side. Huh. I may actually do that on the Abyss on the other side. <laughs> my gears are turning there. So yeah, this banner overall pretty mid, unless you really want Klee or you really want Eula, I say skip this entirely. These characters are not game changing or account breaking. EM Toma for Burgeon can be nice, he's probably one of the best like late game if you do build him that way. The others are just like, eh. <laughs> if you like him, it's I guess okay to roll for them, but they're not that great. And keep in mind that every 10 pulls, you only have about a 16% chance to get one of these rate-up characters. Don't try to go too hard for this unless you are committed to going all the way for a 5-star or for Klee or Eula. And considering these two are on the banner, I have a feeling I know the 5-stars on the weapon banner. Yep, it's Broken Pines and Lost Prayers. And then we've got the Alley Hunter, Alley Flash, Fav, Lance, Eye Perception, and Rain Slasher. So... I have Perception, the Catalyst, and the Rain Slasher are both not great. They're easily the worst here. The best 4 star is the Favlance, which is really good. The Sword, Alley Sword, has a very, very high base attack. It's 620 at 90, and it also gives you EM. So it's a pretty decent stat stick for someone like Bennett if you don't have an energy recharge weapon for him and you just want like a high base attack weapon. So it's, it's a pretty decent one. Uh, Alley Hunter, it's not bad either. Pretty good for Fischl. And that's kind of it. Five stars though, ugh, meh. Very meh. I would definitely not wish on this banner either, even if you wanted, let's say, the Fav or some of these Alley weapons. You have a chance of getting nothing but the Eye of Perception or the Rain Slasher, just over and over and over and over. And you only have a 50% chance of getting one of these five. So if you've had trouble getting a rate up four star on this banner there's only three there but there's five on this one so your chances of getting one of these limited weapons or rate up weapons that you want is even lower broken pines looks really cool not really good on many characters lost prayers is a great stat stick catalyst but its passive is not very good if its passive worked the opposite way where they started at the max and then it ticked down every couple seconds actually be a lot better because you want to switch off catalyst characters very frequently or in general you want to switch off a lot of characters or if they reduced the time you needed to get the max bonus that would be helpful too because you need to stay on for a long time so yeah this these banners mid do not use your primos on this unless you just really really want one of these characters and you can get them if you're like kind of hesitant like uh, I don't know I would recommend skipping. These characters are fun early, like both Eula and Klee are very fun early, but later, like I have Klee, she was my first 5 star, 
I love her. She's so, so fun and adorable. But playing her feels terrible, and I don't ever play her now. I only play her if I have other characters to really support her. So I never really play her seriously. And yeah, this weapon banner. They're always a trap, but this one is especially a trap. So save your primos. If you do want to wish, go for the second half, or go for characters in Fontaine, because they look really cool too.